traditional SUV platforms. What we did like was the cargo capacity. With the tailgate open, the third row seats up, there are only 18 cubic feet of space. Fold them down and it more than doubles to 47.7 cubic feet. And then fold down the second row and the number goes up to 87 cubic feet. Enough to handle small appliances and furniture that isn't too bulky. Combine that with a 4,500 pound tow capacity for the four-wheel drive system and it's a competitive vehicle at the time of its design. The trade-off, of course, was a curb weight of a little more than two tons. Mechanically, there's been no change under the hood since 2009. There's a standard 3.5 liter VTEC V6 engine delivering 250 horsepower and 240 foot-pounds of torque that works on regular unleaded fuel. The Pilot does offer two transmission options, a 5-speed and either a front-wheel or 4-wheel drive setup that doesn't change fuel efficiency ratings. We did appreciate the interior layout and handling, which worked with good sight lines in every direction. Cabin noise levels, which can be a distraction, are comparable to many mid-sized sedans. It also gets good marks for the second and third row seating, which are relatively easy to access but might require a little help getting in since the door sill is a little higher than most crossovers. But for this platform to continue or grow in the segment, it will need some serious upgrades to fuel efficiency and technology to catch up with some very tough competition. This is Greg Morrison. We want to know what you think, so email us. The address is bumper to bumper TV at cs.com.